consider the next problem it is actually uh, civil service preliminary exam 1993 it is the same concept as we discussed before okay so they have given in an examination every candidate every candidate took either physics or actually it is not either every candidate took physics or maths or both okay or both and they have also given 65.8 percentage took physics then 59.2 percentage taken maths and there are totally 2000 candidates and how many took both <coughs> physics and max this is a question okay so and the options are 750 then 700 then 550 and 500 now we have to put a Venn diagram so you take one big circle and this first one is nothing but the physics and the second one is max now come to the question they are given uh, 65.8 took physics isn't it but I cannot use this data as the first one to fill the diagram as I said you before I need to fill the middle part the middle part the uh, the middle part is the one they are asking actually how many took both physics and max so both physics and max means it is the middle part which I explained in the previous concept the middle part represent both A and B so which we don't know here so let us go for taking it as X percentage have taken max and physics so we will take this as X now now you come to filling the physics value which is 65.8 so this is 65.8 minus x you understand y minus x i told you before what are the value middle we fill that we have to subtract when you are filling the single value in the same way the next one is 59.2 and again minus x okay and uh, i told you before when you add everything uh, it should come to the total so 65.8 minus x plus x plus 59.2 then minus x equal to the total is nothing but 100 be careful we are using the percentage this total is the actual value that is 2000 but everything is given in the percentage that's why I have taken x also as a percentage so according to the percentage the total is 100 always okay now simplify this one so what will, what will happen is minus x plus x we can cancel so this will be uh, 65.8 plus 59.2 how much so this will be 0 1 10 15 1 <coughs> 125 so we get 125 plus x equal to 100 so carry the uh, sorry actually it is I made a mistake we have to cancel plus x and this minus x okay so minus x and this plus x and the balance remaining is minus x with us so we have 125 minus x equal to 100 so carry the x to the other side and 100 to this side it will be 125 minus 100 equal to x so x is nothing but 25 percentage we got so for 100 members 25 have taken both max and physics then for 2000 members it is how much this is what actually we have to find out so basically we have to make a product of these two okay this is the logic involved that is 25 into 2000 whole divided by we have to divide by this value whatever present here so 100 so cut these two zeros so 25 into 2 50 and one more zero so it is the 500 so and 500 is present in the 
option D. So the number of uh, candidates who have taken both Max and Physics is 500. Okay. So now you will be able to solve this sort of problem. Whatever is there, just follow the same logic. Fill the middle part. Do the other part. Then you put the total. It will come to uh, the total value so we can find the unknown. If the middle value is already given, we will put that value. If it is not given, we will take it as x and we will substitute it. If any other value present outside these two circles, that that will be like a neither in the previous problem that failed candidates because they don't come under the positive candidate. So we write it outside, but here no such data present outside also. So we have only these total. And from this we find the unknown. And uh, since we are calculating everything as a percentage, we have to find the actual value using this logic and we got as 500. Is it clear? Fine.